minus 15. Okay, minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engine full power. And lift off. Go Falcon, go Dragon, go Crew 7. Endurance ascends an international crew Copy, destined for the International Space Station. Stage one That's propulsion 1 is nominal. Million. Good calls from the propulsion officers here. Propulsion's nominal. Nominal power and telemetry. We are just about T plus 45 down. seconds into the seventh rotational crew mission on board Dragon and Falcon 9. And right now the vehicle is throttling down to help us pass through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. There's the call out that Crew 7 is now moving faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. Stage one throttle up. Coming up on two minutes into the flight, the spacecraft traveling over 2,000 miles per hour. Really incredible nighttime views of Falcon 9 and Crew 7 on your screen right now. So as Leah just mentioned, we are keeping an eye on a couple of critical flight milestones coming up back to back Stage here. One, Those down. are gonna be Miko. So main engine cutoff now that we're throttling down stage one, followed by stage separation and second stage ignition. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. Copy, two alpha. And back ignition. So there you heard and saw Miko stage sep, and hopefully you heard Jasmine call out for the two alpha abort mode just before second stage ignition. So right now, while Crew 7 makes its way to orbit, our first stage booster is making its way back to land. So you may hear the call outs here on the net shortly that we are in the middle of our boost back burn. And of course, this is the second stage powering Dragon on its flight, now traveling almost 4,000 miles per hour. Over three minutes since launch, the second stage will continue to power the spacecraft. And our first look at the crew inside We'll be standing by for Seco. That's the next major milestone for this second stage engine that comes shortly before nine minutes into the flight. So we've still got some time on this engine. Right now, stage Dragon, one is coasting. Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Good call outs there that Dragon is on the right track. <laughs> And confirmation from Commander Jasmine McBelly. Continuing to see good performance on this lone Merlin vacuum engine on the stage. Also, as we've heard, nominal trajectory. That's the guidance navigation and control officer here at SpaceX stating that we are on the correct path. Dragon's pointed in the right direction. The second stage continues firing until, like we mentioned, second stage engine cutoff at about eight minutes and 50, five zero seconds into the flight. Right now, we are four minutes and 30 seconds since our on-time liftoff, now traveling at 5,000 miles per hour. This single Merlin vacuum engine can provide over 220,000 pounds of thrust in the vacuum of space, doing its job to take our crew to the International Space Station today. Dragon SpaceX, trajectory nominal. More good news from Mission Control. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. So with that Bermuda call out, we actually know that the ground station transmitting this flight data back to us is coming from Bermuda. The crew is currently pulling a little more than one G as the second stage engine continues to propel their flight. 
Continuing to hear good calls to the crew, now five minutes and 30 seconds into the flight, traveling at 6,400 miles per hour. Again, we will continue to see the second stage fire for about three more minutes. And stage two continues to propel Dragon and our crew seven crew members. We now are coming up on Seco, second stage engine cutoff. Again, looking at that about eight minutes and 50 seconds into the flight. Everything continues as planned today, now traveling over 13,000 miles per hour. Again, we're looking for eventually a good orbital insertion at which we'll be traveling. Good calls here at Mission Control in Hawthorne. And we are standing by for second stage engine cutoff. Copy, Shannon. Heard that call for Shannon. That is the call out for Shannon, Ireland, the final abort zone. MVAC shutdown. There's audio confirmation and you can see on your screen that we have had successful state second engine cutoff one of our MVAC engine. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. Now at this point in the flight, we are just about 15 seconds away from stage one entry burn start. At this point, the center engine on Falcon 9 will be lit for just about 10 seconds to help us slow the vehicle down as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. That's not the only thing helping us on re-entry though. The first stage sees high drag on re-entry, which scrubs roughly 70% of the velocity by the time the landing burn begins, which you just had great views of on the left-hand side of your screen. Florida Space Coast beginning to come into view in the background. All while Crew 7, of course, on the right-hand side of your screen, lit up by that MVAC engine, continues on its way to orbit. And we are now coming up on. And of course, we are also expecting that landing burn start from Falcon 9 any second now. Great views. Stage two, FTS has saved. Great news there that stage one has successfully landed back at landing zone one in Florida. And as we stand by for that separation, shortly thereafter, we'll be looking for the nose cone to begin deploying. Uh, that command will be sent and we'll see it open shortly after. We'll need the nose cone to open to expose those forward bulkhead thrusters, as well as the docking mechanism with which they will use to uh, link up with the International Space Station. After their ride, it's almost 30 hours long. Dragon separation is done. Crew 7, on and behalf of the Falcon gone. team, I'd like to welcome you to orbit, and we hope you enjoyed the ride on Falcon 9. Space travel is difficult, even though you make it look easy, so thank you for trusting us to get you up there. It's not a bad way to spend a day in the office. Stand by for words from the launch director. Hello, Crew 7. This is launch director here on Countdown. On behalf of the entire SpaceX launch and recovery team, I'm honored to welcome Dragon's first ever all-international crew to orbit. Shisleva Puti, Gotor, Itera Shai. Godspeed, Crew 7. Cheers. Really incredibly moving words from Commander Jasmine Mogbelli now that she and her international team are up in space. That is going to end our coverage from Hawthorne until we pick back up with our docking coverage, like Leah mentioned, just about 30 hours for now, from now. But for now, I'm going to hand it back over to Daryl and Jessica at Kennedy Space Center to wrap up our launch coverage tonight.